This video presents an example of MIMO beamforming on a ray tracing channel using LTE waveforms. Products used include MATLAB, LTE System Toolbox, and Phased Array System Toolbox. We generate a 20 MHz LTE signal with 64 QAM modulation, non codebook based MIMO, transmission mode 9, and we adjust the number of layers and the pre-coding depending on the propagation channel characteristics. Let's have a look at the channel model. We model N scatterers or reflectors. We associate each path with a delay and attenuation. The delay is normalized by the line of sight distance. The attenuation is due to free space propagation as well as atmospheric absorption. Both the transmitter and the receiver use an antenna array, and we can vary the number of antennas. For the transmit antenna array, a signal leaving at angle theta d incurs a delay from antenna k compared to antenna 0, that is, k multiplied by d multiplied by sine theta d divided by the speed of light. LTE uses OFDM, which makes each subcarrier a narrowband channel with flat fading. The channel matrix H, as seen by the receiver, has a size number of receive multiplied by number of transmit antenna. One popular tool to analyze how to take advantage of the channel characteristics is the singular value decomposition, or SVD. We can easily compute the SVD of a channel matrix with MATLAB. The SVD decomposes H as the product of two unitary matrices, U and V, and a diagonal matrix, S. We can now rewrite Y as U multiplied by S multiplied by V transpose multiplied by X. If instead of transmitting X, we transmit V multiplied by X, which means we are using V as a beamforming matrix, the receiver now sees U multiplied by S multiplied by X. Each column of the matrix V can be seen as a beamforming vector for a transmit layer, as it distributes one layer over all transmit antennas. Using V as a beamformer, results in each layer being multiplied by a singular value at the receiver, ignoring the multiplication with unitary matrix U. Actually, we only transmit as many layers as there are singular values with decent energy, so we only use the first n columns of the V matrix. Let's look at some examples. We simulate a channel with two scatterers at 2.4 GHz, with eight transmit and two receive antennas. You can see the scatterer locations. The transmitter and receiver are separated by 300 meters. The free space loss is about 90 dB. The channel impulse response has two paths, each corresponding to one of the scatterers, and the SVD of the channel has two similarly large singular values. The bottom left picture is the view of the transmit beamforming based on the SVD. As you can expect, the energy for both layers is concentrated towards the direction of the two scatterers, minus 37 and plus 15 degrees, as any energy sent to all other angles is lost. The view on the receiver side is hard to interpret with only two antennas, so let's increase the number of antennas to eight. Now you can clearly see the energy being picked up from the two directions corresponding to the scatterers, minus 54 and plus 15 degrees. You can also observe that out of the eight possible singular values, only two are non-zeros, one per scatterer. Let's run the LTE simulation with and without beamforming. The scatter diagram in red shows the received constellation of a beamforming case is less noisy than without beamforming. The beamforming gain measured on the EVM is about 6 dB. Let's switch to a rich channel with 20 scatterers 
and a 60 gigahertz carrier frequency. Now the free space loss has increased a lot and we also observe atmospheric loss due to the absorption at that frequency about 15 dB per kilometer. We can see that the scatter diagram is much worse. The beamforming gain is reduced because there is less of a clear direction to target but beamforming is enough to make decoding succeed while it breaks without beamforming. This simulation makes extensive use of LTE system toolbox for LTE waveform generation as well as the whole receiver algorithm and phase array system toolbox to model free space loss and atmospheric absorption and to visualize the antenna array radiation patterns.